it's really important to celebrate Havergal's 125th anniversary because I think that recognizing history just reminds us of where we can go in the future. Over the last 10 months, we've had the pleasure of working with Mary Claire Sedan, a Canadian composer, to help us write a piece of music that realizes the students' thoughts and ambitions and experiences here at the school. When I first arrived at Havergal in 2014, I was very excited about the 125th anniversary that was soon to be upon us. And I wanted from the start a piece of music to be commissioned, which people will know from its first notes, ah, this is the piece of music that was written for the 125th. Who better to tell the story of Havergal than the girls and the people who live and work here? And to do that, I felt that we had to go beyond just a composer who would learn about her school and write. We had to go beyond just the music students who know how to sing and play an instrument. In order to truly tell the story of the school, we needed to go to the teachers and we needed to go to the students and ask them, what does Havergal mean to you? Because the end product is a performance. Well, we've been working almost a year now in its creation. We worked with French classes, we worked with music classes, we worked with creative writing classes, and they were excellent at helping create the structure from the get-go. I thought it was an opportunity for those writers to make their mark in something that was unique. And our whole French class brainstormed and discussed different themes and ideas that we wanted this piece to convey because we knew how much of an impact this celebration would have and how it would become part of Havoga history. A lot of the music classes had a hand in creating the song. I know my class specifically was able to help out with the piece and I think that that's really what makes it really memorable for me. We would do exercises to come up with themes and words that reflect the aura at Havergal. So the three themes are growth, community, and empowerment. And those themes really came out of all the work the girls were doing about images. By the activity that I saw in the class, how many words and images the girls could connect to those themes showed me that they were three themes that really resonated with the students. I love how the song commemorates stained glass in the second movement. They talk about the images of light coming down into Brenda Robson Hall, and I think about all of the generations of girls that have sat in that hall, learning from each other and sharing each other's stories, and I think that it is something that all girls who have gone to Haverclun relate to. It generates memories and it generates feelings to a particular time. So it's such a natural way to celebrate the school. It's important to remember the history of the school and what came before and what's in the future. Havergal does have a resounding feeling within everyone that goes here. And when you hear this song, I think you will hear that feeling. And when we know that parts of the song are going to be in prayers, we know that pieces of this legacy will continue. What I think people will remember about this song years from now is that all of the Havergal musical community came together to sing it. We wanted right from the start that this piece of music would be sung often because it is a symbol of the inclusivity and the way in which Havergal has welcomed students throughout the decades and will continue to do so in the future. This was written for the celebration, but it is also a testament to Havergal's legacy and Havergal's history. The girls are the ones that came up with the text, and the girls will be the ones that will be singing this song this year, they'll be singing it next year, they'll be singing it hopefully a hundred years from now. We started last year by writing it and coming up with the rhythms and the notes even for the song, and it's really cool to see it come so far. It's very exciting to see how it's all going to come together. I am very excited to be performing at Roy Thompson Hall, especially since it's such a big event. It means a lot for me to be performing with all of my friends in the orchestra and the choir. To be able to actually help someone create a piece that represents our school, it's just meant a lot to me. It's been an incredible experience. There is nothing more important than to hear the words that have been created and the melodies that have been created by our students. So when it comes together and we see over 300 students performing and singing what they've created, 
it will be a magical moment.